Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna learn how we can make our own Discord Digest mod block system. So I've been getting this recommendation from, from a lot of you guys on my Discord server, and I finally decided to make a video about it. I am totally open to every single video idea everybody gives me, so I will be like more than thankful if somebody actually gives me a video idea because I would love to make videos that people actually want to see. So go ahead and comment down below if you have any video ideas for me. So before we get into the video, I need you guys to right now hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and go ahead and comment down below if you have any problems throughout the video. You can also join your discord server we help a lot of people out there and it's like a whole support discord server and there's a lot of memes over there as well you can go and join it's a pretty chill and fun server in general so now without further ado let's actually get into this video all right the first thing you need to do is basically opening your discord by directory mine is an atom you can have vs code or whatever so we're just gonna go ahead and first make events right because we need the events to basically do their job and log the thing is going on the server and here as you can see there is a list of the basic the event types uh, like ready resume guild create guild update so these are the events of the discord just documentation so using my event handler i'm gonna make my events you probably if you have if you're not using an event handler then you can just basically make the event in your index.js we're gonna go ahead and uh, look at the message update it should be a message update event here as you can see so this is when your message is going to be updated let me show you an example so in here if you just like top one two three four and then i delete this like make it like hello this message is basically updated so we're just going to go ahead and first uh, go inside of our message update i made the event i call it message update and in the options though you need to put old message and new message inside of the options for message update so we're just going to go ahead and first look for the channel we're going to send this message to so we're going to do let or const you can do whatever you want i don't care we're just going to do like channel is equal to bot dot channel dot catch dot get so once you click on this you just have to go ahead and copy the channel id for this uh, my channel is in the logs channel i'm going to copy this copy id and then paste it here then i need to send this message through that channel right now i can make an embed i'm not going to do an embed probably because uh i mean that's your customization right i'm just going to send a normal message i am just going to go ahead and do message i'm not going to use message why because i'm trying to send this message to a specific channel so i'm going to say this specific channel is right here so i'm going to use except channel i don't know why i have a full screen i'm sorry channel dot send um you what you're gonna send is basically the old message and then the new message so we're just gonna go ahead and say i'm gonna use this kind of marks because um we are trying to use uh dollar sign and then this kind of stuff so i'm um, just gonna go ahead and first the old message and then use a dollar sign on this and then the old message then i'm gonna go ahead and do n uh which stands for a line break and then in line break, I'm just going to go ahead and simply do the new message. Uh, like I said, it's your customization. I'm not going to really, go really specific here for the customization and stuff. So I'm just going to do the new message. So one problem I have in here before we actually run the command is basically I forgot to put S. Put bot.channels.cache. Uh, probably a mistypo I made. I don't know why I said channel only. So we're just going to go ahead and do no dots now. And I'm gonna send a message like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I don't know, whatever. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and edit it. I'm gonna make it okay. And then if you go to the locks channel, as you can see, since the old message is this, the new message is okay. Simple as that. This is how the lock system works. Now, the good news is you can use the same system for the other events as well. Now, at this point, the only thing you need to be worried about is the option of each event you pick. How about giving it a try? Okay, so for the first thing you need to do is basically go into your browser. Discord just guide and then as you can see in here we have different events right we're just gonna go ahead and pick one that we want to use for example the guild ban ad right so we're just gonna go ahead and do guild ban ad and as you can see you should be client guild ban ad in here if i click on this here you should be directed to here there is an option which are parameter called guild user so the guild is a guild that the, the ban was occurred and the user is the user that was banned so the options are basically gonna work like this so if i go to ban guild band add.js i put guild and user as the options and if you check here there we go guild and user so make sure you do you have to put both of them here or it will be mistaken so if i just put like user here and then guild here it will basically count this one as guild and then this one as user so you don't want that to happen let's give another example in here we got guild member remove so if i search this up right now 
it should show me client guild member remove. So if I go here, there's only one option and that is member. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the two options in here. I'm gonna make it member simply because this uh, the event I'm looking for is just having a parameter calling member, which is the member that left been kicked from the guild. Hopefully that was clear enough for a lot of you guys and it clarified everything about the events and I think you should guys be able to have a brief summary or like a brief knowledge of how the events work and how you can log something using the events. Now for my MongoDB users, this is the part that is only for users who want to make this command a multi-guild command. They can basically make this command work in every single guild and they can set the channel in that specific guild and the logs will be all saved in that channel. So this part is only for people who use MongoDB as a database and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, I made a new command and I called it set channel.js. However though, before we actually get into it, make sure you're connected into your MongoDB database. If you're connected to your MongoDB database, perfect. Now we're just gonna go ahead and make a model first in a models folder and we call it channel module. And the reason is because we're trying to make a new schema so we'll basically save the data into it so anyways in here i made this kind of stuff i made a channel module it will, it will name the uh, data channel module and then the guild id and the channel id and then it will make a new mongos and data and then the, there's gonna be two strings which one of them is guild id and another one is channel id so once you created this model save it and then you need to make a new command so in here, as you can see, I made a new command and I call it set channel.js. And in this command, every single code I'm gonna put is gonna be inside of the model.exports.run. So everything related to the code is gonna be inside of here. So we're just gonna go ahead and first read what is this. So this is this is uh, referring to the first mentioned channel in the message we're going to send. For example, as you can see in here, I have set channel and then this is the first mentioned channel in my message. So it's gonna get it. Um, so whenever we use channel narrow code, this will refer to this. And then we're gonna get the data from here, uh, channel model that's fine one. Channel model is here. It will basically refer to the models folder and then gets the channel model from the folder over there, which we talked about like a minute ago or something or a second ago, I don't know. Uh, and then in the here, as you can see, we said data is a weight channel model that find one. It will make a data instead of the channel model. And that is the guild ID, which is the message guild ID. So it's gonna find it. If it didn't find it, it's gonna go ahead and make a new model, which will make a new data. And the data is gonna be the guild ID message that guild ID. And the channel ID is gonna be channel ID. Uh, the channel ID, as you can see, we refer to the channel here. And then from this mentioned channel, we're gonna get the ID. And then we're gonna save the data. And then we're gonna say okay, saved. And then the else function refers to if there is a data existing already regarding the guild. So what's gonna happen then? It's gonna go ahead and delete the old data and it's gonna create a new one uh, in here. As you can see, I made a new one. First, I deleted one using the delete one in Mongo's. And then I made a new one in this the guild message that guild.id. And then the channel ID is channel.id. Uh, same thing as we did in the top here. And then okay, saved. Simple as that, nothing so special, everything working pretty fine. And I have MongoDB in here as well, so you guys can go ahead and see it. My apology, I made a mistake in the model. I have to put message model here. I don't know why I put that, it was pretty wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and do no dot. And then I just need to basically set the channel. And this is it, okay, save. If I check the database now, if I like, refresh it, a good data in here i should be able to see a new thing called channel models perfect so if i click on it here as you can see i have a guild id and a channel id simple as that everything works without any problems now we need to make the events to send the message inside of that data and that is really really simple as a matter of fact you just have to go ahead and copy this line of the code in here and the data which is it's gonna find one right we're gonna copy this and we're also gonna copy this at the same time so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy this first one and then i'm gonna go to my message update event or event whatever you have and then i'm gonna paste it in top here and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this as well in here and then paste it because we're trying to get the data uh, using the guild ID. And if you notice something here, it says, like, as you can see, I cannot get the guild ID from message because message is not defined inside of our event. Simply just use the old message and then copy it and then paste it here. Uh, because, uh, I don't know, you can use a new message as well, doesn't really matter, it's the same thing. Uh, both of them has to be in the same guild. So, you're gonna get use the old message uh, parameter, so it will basically get the guild ID from that. And then, you need to go here remove that id that we did which was custom 
uh, you can get to bot the channels at cash.get and then in here we have to do data dot channel id so as you can see my one of my string that i have to put is the channel id in here so once you've done that perfect now you just have to basically save it and then you just have to do no dot so i'm going to do this for perfect it's working without any problems congratulations now you have something like this working without any problems at all i think that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for watching today's video if you liked it go ahead and subscribe to the channel like the video and go on and comment down below if you have any problems throughout the video we have a discord server as well you can go ahead and join and get as much support as you need and yeah this is dashcraft and i am out bye bye guys